Hi, this is take three um, of my first vlog post for um, Vlogury 2017. Yay, it's a new year. Woo! Um, insert various explosions of fireworks here. Um, can't be as bad as last year. Oh, God, that thing's happening on the 20th. No, don't. I did not say it couldn't get worse. Obviously it can. Um, yeah, so this is my um, vlog post for Vlog Yuri, which is when um, one attempts to do a vlog for every day during um, January 2016. Um, it's something that my friend Anthony Carpen did last year and he suggested that I do the same this year. Um, and kind of half kicking and screaming um, I am doing this I am in my pyjamas as you might be able to see sporting my rather lovely purple pyjamas um, and yeah um, I have spent most of today um, just basically procrastinating and eating chocolate um, I have at least uh, I, I have an essay to write um, that's by the 16th and at least I've actually read the book. Um, basically I'm doing a master's in medical anthropology that's over the last, so, sorry, over the next two years. Um, and in case, um, any of you are interested, I have a lot of people who ask. Anthropology is basically the study of humans and what we do and why we do it and all that sort of stuff and um, medical anthropology is just looking into why we behave the way we do with regard to our health and um, yeah that's it basically um, I mean it, that's it in a nutshell that's please no other no medical anthropologists shoot me for saying that um, that was just a vague, off the top of my head, um, synopsis. Um, but yeah, so the book I'm re I have read, which is at least something, um, <laughs> is a very interesting book. It's all about um, extending life and making life longer and ageing and kind of where to draw the line. It's talking about specifically kind of... Um, talking about aging in the US and um, stuff like um, pacemakers and um, uh, I think it's intercardiac devices, ICDs um, and um, also stuff like kidney and liver um, transplants um, which are becoming more and more popular um, in the US certainly um, in the older population um, partly because they're paid for via Medicaid. No, not Medicaid. Medicare. Medicare is the um, kind of older person thing. Medicaid is for people who are less well off. Um, and so, yeah. Um, right. So um, basically many more people in the US than ever before have been getting... Um, more um, organ transplants at an older age than they had before. This has meant that um, they have had their lives extended, whether this is for good or ill, is really up, into, up to interpretation. It depends on... Um, what your interpretation of a worthwhile life is and that's from a very personal standpoint the standpoint of the patient of the family of society um of um the government of many many different things um then you've got the pull of um well, basically what this means for people who are on the organ waiting lists who are 
younger who are suddenly having um, more um, people on the waiting list who are older, who've perhaps had more time um, and they're not getting organs, not necessarily because there are older people on the waiting list, but um, there's some friction happening over all of this and um, they tried to shift um, the eligibility for um, age related so they tried to shift the eligibility for um, organs so you had to be within um, 15 years in the US um, of the organ they were going to transplant for you to be a valid recipient for it um, but then I think it was Congress or something decided that it was um, against the um, against age discrimination basically um, and I mean there's it's a very thorny subject it really is um, and I am not an ethicist and being disabled myself I have a hell of a lot to say with regard to contributing towards the pot um, however also having studied um, public health for many years I also understand the perils of NICE and funding and the difficulty of well th sometimes choices have to be made on a financial basis of how many people can benefit and on well some some somebody somewhere has to draw a line and it's not a very nice line wherever it's drawn and basically this book is talking um about where the line is drawn and um amongst many different people and um their experience of it experiences of it and their um thoughts on it and whether they would change anything about it whether they would change their minds if they could have it over whether they do change their minds then subsequently which some do um some don't um yeah it's just a really really interesting book i highly recommend it it's um oh goodness now i'm going to forget what it's called uh it is ordinary medicine extraordinary treatments longer lives and where to draw the line by sharon r kaufman um and that is available on amazon if anybody wants it and that is my extremely bad uh five minute review of it if that um it wasn't meant to be a review of the book um please i do not want my tutor to take it as my review of the book i do have four thousand words to write on it and I um, really hope to have written something better than what I've just blurted out there um, in the next two weeks. Um, but yeah, so I highly recommend the book and um, I will... I guess I'd better stop it there. I will try and think of something better to talk to you about tomorrow than just burble on at you about a book for no reason whatsoever um have a good one and i will speak to you tomorrow bye